So, um, so this is the conceptual questions for this week on a uh, collision and momentum and momentum conservation. And I don't think um, we do refer to energy conservation. So it's a kind of cumulative from last week. And, um, and the purpose of me doing this right now is, you know, mainly to keep up with what's the state of the art in the tools that you have access to study. And, uh, well, and um, I do um, mean, mean it when I say you shouldn't be using these tools to cut corners. Really, in the end, what matters is what you have learned. And if these tools are helping you learn, great. As long as they're helping you study, I have no objection to that. If they are helping you um, not do your own work and make it appear as though you have done it and in the process not learn anything, um, that haven't helped you in the end. So uh, that won't have helped you long term. And because we have the one on one, -on -one check in, uh, I don't think uh, it will even help you with your grade. Because, you know, at the end of the semester, there's really only three outcomes. Do you get an A, B, or C? And a good chunk of that is dem um, determined by uh, the, not your knowledge of physics that you can demonstrate in that one-on-one -on -one real time meeting. So let me ask this question and see if I can uh, nitpick <laughs> the response from per perplexity using GPT-4 as the response engine. Does it not say anymore? It's, yeah, GPT-4, okay. <clears throat> The question was, can object have momentum while the total momentum? Yes, um, right? Uh, because momentum is a vector quantity. Um, so in a one dimension, we would describe it as you know, positive and negative momentum. But if it's 2D or 3D, I prefer to work with actual directions. And those directions, like uh, when you have a net force zero, you can have net momentum zero. Um, yeah, vector sum, yeah, right. Um, why? Why is it so long? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's equal mass. Yeah, same speed. Yeah, the, the, so equal and opposite velocity. The, their momentum would cancel each other out. Yeah. Um, this. Yeah, and well, conservation. Yeah, it, it is too long because it's talking about conservation of momentum that we haven't asked about. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, overall good response, if it's a little over long. <laughs> Let me ask the next question. Describe an example of a system. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, let me just check everything. Now, with the elastic collision, um, Oh, I see. I asked for two examples. In an elastic collision, you wouldn't have moment. Well, it depends on the situation. So let me just put all this in and let's see what they, what the um, AI tells me. Yeah, in elastic collision is really good example. It's a, a kind of um, archetype example <laughs> we specifically talk about inelastic collision especially the completely inelastic collision um, this if I were to nitpick I would say um, th there you can have a partially inelastic collision where two objects collide and don't stick together if they stick together that's the completely inelastic collision where as much energy as possible has been lost um, but it, it's uh, um, you have in between cases that we also call inelastic um, total moment of rising, kinetic energy is conserved. Okay. The other hand, <laughs> and, um, should, yeah, okay. Um, so really what you would need is uh, where your system is defined in such a way that you have an interaction with an object outside your system. Yeah, system where external forces are applied, yeah. Um, so that one, um, yeah, it's not that difficult. So let me ask it. Uh, what about the example of an elastic collision of a ball with a wall where we don't consider the wall to be part of our system? I mean, it's not that hard to find. <laughs> and I might have actually given this in my model answer. I do forget what I put in the model answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
boss momentum is not conserved. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Bull's momentum gets reversed, so it, it it's not conserved. Um, direction changes, which means bull's momentum is not conserved. <laughs> uh, overall energy remains the same. So yeah, there's even change in momentum. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's how the momentum of the system we are considering is changing. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's a long answer. I think uh, you can kind of, um, kind of read through it, try to understand it, and maybe from this uh, delta p being given, realize where it says the both momentum is conserved, it's been confused. Uh, you know, it, uh, the magnitude of momentum won't change, but momentum like velocity is a vector, and the direction changes, momentum has changed. So um, so this question, it hasn't done really as well as I thought it would. Oh, that is surprising, um, you know. So if you're using a tool like this as a learning tool, make sure you ask a follow-up questions. Don't blindly accept what it says, because uh, occasionally it's just wrong. It's confidently wrong. All right, last two question. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> when this happens. Oh, that gives away the answer, yeah. <laughs> because that tells you, oh, answer must be yes. <laughs> But, you know, the important part of the answer is actually the explanation. So it is possible for velocity. Yeah, so yeah that, it's a good start. Uh, rocket moves by reaction mechanism. Due to con yeah, by the conservation of momentum and Newton's third law are very... Um, tightly integrated. So the way it's presented in the lecture, uh, we use Newton's third law to prove conservation of momentum uh, as a consequence of Newton's laws of motion. Now it just states that the loss is equal or greater exact. Yeah, they are going to be in the same direction of motion in reference to the reference frame where the ro rocket's velocity is greater than the exhaust velocity. Um, but yeah, the kind of the ego just gets gets left behind, and rocket carries away the extra momentum. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good answer. Um, good detailed answer. Um, so yeah, those uh, are the three questions and three um, things here. Um, yeah, the second question. Is, Surprisingly, it didn't do well. Um, that is surprising. Well, it, it's surprising. Um, uh, let me ask it just one more. Well, do I want to ask this question? Uh, now let me not ask this question just because it's not part of your conceptual questions. I'll just cover this in a later part of this virtual class session. Um, so, so yeah, I um, hope, uh, um, um, uh, hope uh, as you consider these conceptual questions, um, you get enough help from um, lectures and uh, if you do use outside the tools, make sure you your focus is on learning, not not cutting corners. <laughs>